Hello everyone. If you are a first home buyer, then I got something for you. Today we are discussing the deduction under section 80 EEA which are available for an individual who is actually taking a loan for buying his first home in India. So let's check it out. Today let's discuss the deduction under 80 EEA in very detail as well as the changes under the section on account of February 2020 annual budget. So the deduction shall be on interest payable on loan taken by an individual from any financial institution for the purpose of acquisition of residential house property. That means if you are buying a residential house property by taking a loan from a financial institution, then you are eligible for a deduction at the time of paying that loan's interest under Section 80 EEA of Income Tax Act 1961. and the maximum deduction shall be rupees 150000 in a year the maximum deduction for that interest element shall be rupees 150000 in a year under section 80 eea again moving forward there are certain conditions for taking deduction under 80 eea condition number 1 the loan has been sanctioned by the financial institution between 1st april 2019 and 31st march 2021 that means when you are buying a house property you should apply for a loan from a financial institution and the financial institution should sanction that loan between 1st april 2019 and 31st march 2021 earlier this date was only up to 31st march 2020 as a part of february 2020 annual budget it has been extended to 31st march 2021 again condition number 2 the stamp duty value of the residential house he, which he buys shall be less than or equal to 45 lakhs that is condition number 2 Moving forward condition number 3 the SSC does not own any residential house property on the date of sanction of loan that means it should be that particular individuals first home for a filing deduction under 80 EEA so these all are the conditions now let's understand the meaning of this financial institution financial institution means either a bank where banking regulations act 1941 applies for example state bank of india federal bank etc either it can be a housing finance corporation as well for example hdfc lic housing finance limited etc and stamp duty value means the value adopted by any authority of central government or state government for the purpose of payment of stamp duty in respect of house property that means stamp duty on this stamp duty value the central government or state government will ask for what stamp duty charges so that's what the definition of stamp duty value so let's understand all the benefits of a housing loan in income tax altogether an individual can claim another deduction up to rupees 2 lakh in a financial year under section 24b on satisfaction of certain conditions mentioned under section 24b there is one more deduction under section 24b and the maximum amount of deduction shall be up to rupees 2 lakh and there is another deduction under 80 eea which we have mentioned right now and the maximum amount of deduction shall be rupees 1 lakh 50000 and both these deductions are on the interest portion of the loan which is utilized for buying your residential house got my point moving forward on the principal portion there is another deduction in income tax act that means on the principal portion the individual can claim a deduction under section 80c of maximum rupees 1 lakh 50000 in a financial year so while taking a loan there will be principal portion as well as interest portion the principal portion is also eligible for a deduction under section 80c of maximum rupees 1 lakh 50000 and the interest portion again split it up into two sections under 24b as well as 80 eea there are deductions so we can say on an average maximum benefit for this home loan interest as well as principal repayment shall be rupees 5 lakh that's what income tax act 1961 states about okay so that's all for today thank you for watching my video for further queries or details feel free to contact us on this email or mobile so take care see you on next sunday with at another interesting topic on income tax take care and bye bye